Yesterday, the new pandemic unemployment assistance program was launched and in that first day of being offered 10,910 people filed for this new benefit offered in the CARES Act stimulus package program designed to include people who don't typically qualify for traditional unemployment insurance, including self-employed and independent contractors. Today, the governor is expected to give more guidance on quarantining when she speaks at 2.30 this afternoon. Kate Walsh highlights the latest directives leading up to today's briefing. All of Governor Gina Raimondo's executive orders have been extended to May 8th. That includes restaurants only being opened for takeout options and anyone arriving in Rhode Island to self-quarantine for 14 days. I don't care how essential you are. You should not go to work if you're sick. A plea to stay home if you feel ill at all, as Governor Gina Raimondo reminds Rhode Islanders that the new federal stimulus package offers 10 sick days to Americans. In her daily briefing Tuesday, the governor announced three more deaths, all at nursing facilities, bringing the total deaths in Rhode Island to 30. The governor asking those out of work to submit complete forms for unemployment online to speed up the process. We've received over 100,000 claims. We're, it's, it, we, we've never seen anything like this. As for personal protective equipment, the governor signed a new executive order for hospitals to provide accurate data each day so she can give that to potential suppliers. But everyone asks, whether it's the federal government or a commercial vendor, is what's the actual burn rate in your hospitals? How many masks are they going through every day? The governor also asked everyone to journal every day who you've come in contact with and where you've been, even though you should be at home with a small group of people. She said you will be asked to show that information if you do test positive for coronavirus. In the control room, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.